Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 6 June 2022, DAC has accorded acceptance of necessity for the capital acquisition proposal for the armed forces amounting to rupees 76,390 crore under Buy Indian and Buy and Make Indian and Buy Indian IDDM categories. The list of procurement is huge and one of the items in that list was wheeled armoured fighting vehicles with anti-tank guided missile. It's most likely going to be Tata WAP but with more advanced turret. WAP is going to be integrated with anti-tank guided missiles and besides anti-tank guided missiles, the WAP will also be expected to have added armour protection using add-on armours. It will also feature a remote control weapon station with thermal sights. Now, during the dress rehearsal of Republic Day Parade on 23rd January, DRDO has showcased its wheel armored fighting vehicles with anti tank guided missile for the very first time. In April, the Army has inducted the Infantry Protected Mobility Vehicle or IPMV with a 7.62 mm RCWS and the IPMB has been developed and manufactured at TSL's Pune facility built on the strategic 8x8 WAP platform. During Defense Expo 2022, three versions of Tata WAP were shown which are ICV or Infantry Combat Vehicle, IPMV Infantry Protection Mobility Vehicle and WAP. The Tata WAP seems to be the base platform or the plain Valina version of the vehicle. Now, talking about the WAV features, it has an automatic transmission with 600 horsepower engine. It has ballistic protection of STNAG level 4. It has blast protection of STNAG level 3. WAP also has NBC suit designed to provide protection against direct contact with contamination by radioactive, biological, or chemical substance and provide protection from contamination with radioactive materials and all type of radiation. It can be fitted with a variety of turret depending upon the operational rule. It can be integrated with a 30mm or 40mm RCWS with optical sensors having 360 degree of surveillance. We have also seen WAP with 105mm gun which can act like a light tank. The turret can be either a 105mm or even 120mm main gun along with a 14.5mm or 12.7mm or 7.62mm coaxial machine guns. It can also be fitted with a smoke grenade launcher and option for ATGM as preferred by the user. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.